Mario is coming to the iPhone, and unlike many fake rumors that we've heard for many years now, this time we heard it from Miyamoto himself. It's become a pretty big recurring joke here that Nintendo and Pokemon like to release news on the specific days that I travel. While it is fair that I do travel a lot, this time I got hit with the perfect double slap. A Nintendo Direct on the Thursday that I fly out to PAX West, and a huge new trailer for Sun and Moon on the exact time that I fly home on Tuesday. But at Apple's big event today, I was finally home in time for a new reveal. Shigeru Miyamoto and Bill Trinan joined the Apple stage to talk about a new Nintendo iOS project. At first I assumed that this would be the already announced Fire Emblem or Animal Crossing projects that they're working for on mobile, but it turns out that it was actually yet another brand new mobile title, Super Mario Run coming to iOS first, but I can only imagine will eventually reach Android as well. It seemed like Nintendo was content just dipping their toes into the waters of mobile gaming, happy to release smaller titles on their smaller franchises. But I can only imagine that the massive, insane success of Pokemon Go pushed Nintendo to get their most recognizable franchise into the mix of mobile gaming as well. The gameplay of Super Mario Run looks like what you'd expect for an iOS Infinite Runner style game, where everything is controllable with a single hand, geared for playing on the go. The game uses the new Super Mario Bros. graphical style, but there are definitely moves in here uncommon to 2D Mario, such as ledge grabbing, rolling on the ground, and climbing onto objects on the top of the screen. Your main goal is high score through coin collection, and the game has three modes. Single player levels, competition with friends trying to outscore them with risky moves, and a third mode that hasn't been shown yet where you can use your coins to build your own mushroom kingdom. I'm actually a huge fan of mobile gaming, and I think that this formula can be a successful one. By far the best I've played in this style is the Rayman Jungle Run, and while it hasn't been released yet, I had a blast playing the demo for Super Meat Boy Forever a few years back when it was in full development still. It seems like the game will be free to try, pay to unlock all the levels, but not free to play with microtransactions, which sounds great. The game is due to be released this year. I feel like Nintendo's mobile strategy so far is safe, but smart. It's no secret that smartphones are by far the most owned mobile device for gaming, and people have feared that Nintendo will one day port their full library of games to phones and move away from their own portable systems. But all games like Super Mario Run do give Nintendo a way to share their biggest characters with a wider audience and make more money that they can invest into new projects and games. I'm all for it. There was also a short segment from Niantic about Pokemon Go where they mentioned that the game will have Apple Watch availability, which seems pretty similar to what they had planned for the Pokemon Go Plus. I know that Pokemon Go's popularity is in steady decline, but playing Pokemon Go hands-free is still a feature that I would be interested in doing while walking and running. There are also plans to add a buddy system to Pokemon Go where you can get bonuses for walking around with one of your favorite Pokemon, similar to what we saw in the yellow version or HeartGold SoulSilver. Mobile gaming isn't for everybody, but as someone who's a big fan of both phone games and Nintendo's IP, I'm always excited to see the different ways that this platform is being used to give us new takes on existing Nintendo franchises. I've been pretty swamped with work and conventions lately, but I want to thank you guys for still following my content. We have a ton of huge projects coming up soon, and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. Until then, I'll see you guys next time with more Nintendo content.